Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. We are cruising right along here through season one of Q, and today we are on episode 11, The Decision. So my prediction last episode was completely wrong. I thought they were gonna take on Nakoma. <laughs> they did not. Instead, we finished off the game with the Neighborhood Association and had some very big moments. Um, Kageyama showing his growth. We learned a little bit about how important it is for good reception. The greatest decoy does not mean that he's not a great player. Hinata has a very important role. Lots of big lessons to be learned and I loved every minute of it. Asahi seems to be back and better than ever. I can't say that, I don't know how good he was before, but he's looking good. Um, very humble, he's super cute. Um, so it's really cool to see him interacting with Hinata. But it's really nice that the gang is all back together. We're gonna see some improvements I'm thinking as they start to work out their kinks and their system. But I am beyond pumped for this episode, The Decision, and it's coming at you right now. Ooh. Okay, here we go. I'm super excited. Training camp versus Nakoma. Oh my gosh, was that his mom? <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs><笑>そろってな。うわ。4日後には猫馬と練習試合。それが終わったらすぐに委員会予選がやってくる。時間がない。でもお前らはあなただけだ。そんなお前らが勝つために<笑> <laughs> That's true. From nerves, though. I'm still so impressed by how high he jumps. <laughs> I am dead. Okay. The ladies aside, um, it is so cute to see Hinata's reaction to everything because everything is so new that he is just soaking it all in and just everything's amazing. So 
as someone who, you know, has been playing for a very, very long time, to see Hinata react to this is like bringing back so many good memories just of my own start at the beginning and how everything was just the coolest ever. He is adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, so I just snorted. <laughs> going to end up with Kyoko or is it wrong for me to even assume that somebody's going to end up with her because I mean she is not a possession she is her own woman so do not place that on her but you got two guys that are very into her so I'm just you know curious if anything will develop here very different guys too I wonder what one of her style No. No, no, no. I don't like ghosts. Why does it have to be dark? No, no. When it's dark, everything is worse. Why do I feel anxious? I felt that deep in my soul. Um, the dark makes everything so much scarier, especially in an unknown place. I, you know, you're not gonna believe me, but I, I was about to say, I wonder if it's Noya, but I didn't want to insult him, you know, because he is a little touchy about his height. I didn't want to say, oh, it's probably Noya, when he was like, it looked like a child. So you know what, my like allegiance to him stopped me from saying that. I should have, because now you probably don't even believe that that's what I thought. Anyways, um, also, I saw he looked very creepy with his hair down. Um, didn't love that. I need a better look at that, but I feel everything that just happened there. I like that Kyoko's keeping track. Dude, he bikes a lot to and from school. セットに迷う。実力
三年生というのは今年が最後なわけでやはり特別なあすいません余計なこといやその通りかもしれん俺は高校3年間でスタメンだったのは後輩の生セッターが怪我で出らんない時の一回きりあの頃は試合に出してもらえないことがただとにかく悔しかったけど仮にもコーチを引き受けた以上選手側の気持ちでいるわけにはいかねえよな Okay, I know I touched on this last episode a little bit. Kind of like that discussion of Ukai having to decide between、um, Suga and Kageyama who to start. Takeda is very observant. I love that he kind of called that to his attention. Like, maybe you want Suga to play because of your own experience and that he's older. Yes. I, it is definitely easier for coaches to kind of relate to players who are like them. And it's so hard to kind of break out of your own experience when you're relating to people. So, like, Ukai definitely sees more of a kinship in his own experience with Suga. So, it completely makes sense why this decision is so hard for him because. He didn't like the way that he felt as a player having to sit on the bench, and he just really wants Suga to get a chance the way that he didn't. It is so tough to be able to separate your feelings like that, so I am very curious to see if he will start the player who is 100% the most deserving and who has earned the spot, or if he will let his you know, experiences shape that decision. Is shouting a lot. <laughs> It's always the same sound. <laughs> oh dear. Is it a crow? Nope, a cat. The cat and crow dumpster showdown. Oh, he is such a puppy still. I hope he never grows up. But I kind of do. Kozume. Kozume. Kenma. Kenma ka? Koko se? Um. Nane? Ore ichi ne? Nine. Yobe, senpai da. Ah, sumimase. Nio. So you. Taiku kai ke no joge kan ke mi tai no. Kirai da. Oh. Oh, is he like the emo rebel? Why does he seem so sad? ま、そうだろうけど。別に。俺の試合とか行くとよく言われる。セッターの一番能力の高いやつがやるポジションなのに。なんであいつっていう風に。俺特別運動得意とかじゃないし。ああ。じゃあさ、お前のが強い。うん
So many questions. Is this guy kind of like emo? What is his deal? Kenma, can I call him that? Don't get mad at me if I'm supposed to use his last name. Um, okay, meeting some new characters. Are we gonna like learn about the characters at every school? Cause that will be a huge cast and I'm all about that, that's fine. Um, you know what? I have played with some of the best setters in the world and let me tell you, they're not all super athletes, but they are leaders. They know how to run an offense. They know like how to move the pieces around the court. So yeah, some setters, super athletic, amazing. Other ones, not so much, but they can get the job done. And I feel like Kenma could be one of them because there's a reason he's playing, right? Also, he not as super cute and wants to be friends with everybody. I hope he never loses that puppy kind of vibe. Ugh. I ran so fast, I went the wrong way. <laughs> You should always give every practice your all, otherwise why are you doing it? First of all, who is that guy in the doorway? Second of all, I love that. The unassuming people when they succeed, love it. I'm all about it. Gosh, Suga just keeps hitting me with these wisdom bombs like crazy. Oh my gosh, I can't handle this. Oh. 
big hearts, big love. Suga's my guy. Um, wow, almost cried again. This seems to be a recurring theme here for me, so sorry about that. Um, I think Suga completely caught Ukai off guard because he obviously assumed that Suga would have the same attitude that he did as a third year, but like Suga's perspective and like understanding of where he is in relation to Kageyama, I think is big time self-awareness. And just to put himself out there to be like, I want any chance I can to get on the court. If Kageyama's the best, then he's the best, but I wanna be there and I wanna have that chance whenever I can. That's all you can do is just work your butt off every single day, be a great teammate, do everything you can for the team to be as good as possible. And when you have your chance, try to maximize it. And oh, I love that Asahi and Daichi heard that. They're just gonna give it all. I'm very motivated. Shovel that rice down, yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? Kill me. Oh. I'm in love with him, really. Okay, no big surprises with that lineup. Yes, Noya, that is what you need. You need competition within a team, healthy competition, so that nobody feels safe. You, the worst thing that can happen on a team is for somebody to start feeling complacent and not be fighting to get better every single day. So Noya is being very sneaky by basically saying that, um, and Oshida, sorry, said that wrong, um, is coming to get Tanaka and Asahi's spot because that will keep them sharp. It'll keep them working hard. I love it. And Noshita, and Noshita. その時に情けない話、練習について行けない奴が何人かってまして。それまでそれなりに楽しくやってた部活が途端に勝つための部活になって、ぬるま湯に使ってたみたいな俺たちはびっくりして逃げ出した。でもまたバレエが来たくて、
<laughs> oh, you're still such a beginner. <gasps> okay. Um, I wonder if he picked his number, because isn't that number 10 the same number that the little giant wore? Tiny giant, number 10? Yes, I believe it was. And fun fact for you, my number was number nine. Looks like Kageyama's my guy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Thank you very much. Yeah, see? I remember. Now he's gonna love the number. I thought he knew, I thought he picked it. Okay, I gave him too much credit. Good receiving is a good place to start. Because they're agile. Yeah. Just got to keep that ball in play, baby. Hey. Yeah. Ideally, you have a very strong like ball control and you have attackers that can be terminal. But if you are basically a backboard, and by that I mean like you just make the ball keep coming back, at some point the other team's gonna make a mistake. So those teams are very frustrating to play against because it's like, okay, they're not scoring, but like the ball keeps coming back. Um, so it's interesting to hear that that's the kind of team that they are. Um, like Ukai said, the complete opposite of Kirasuno, but I mean, once we get that receive down, they will be very hard to beat. Well, she is. Kyoko's a babe. Just wiggling his toes. Yamamoto. I hope he's not feeling pressure having number 10. Oh, 
They're always screaming. <laughs> The cats and the crows. Why does Nakoma have Western letters and Karasuno doesn't? Okay, I'm gonna stop making predictions about when they're gonna play their games and just, you know, go with the flow. Cause I'm wrong all the time. Okay, so Kenma, Yamamoto, and Noshita. Those three new characters, I'm assuming we'll see them more and more. This cast is growing. I'm gonna have to like start keeping a notebook here. But love that they got their jerseys. Not sure what Yamamoto was going off about Kyoko for. Um, he seems like kind of like the Tanaka kind of character for Nakoma. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But. We've got some inner squad competition to try to like make all the players better. Ukai has selected Kageyama to start, but I love that every single guy is going to be 100% ready to play. Um, I'm interested to learn more about Kenma and what's going on with him. Um, you know, maybe he's just a quiet guy, but the impression I got from him was that he was like a little sad. I don't know. Um, but this, I mean, even though not a ton happened, I feel like it was really important and I was very invested as always. Um, so we got the starting, the starting lineup, head to head, face to face with Nakoma. Um, I'm so excited. Episode 11, the decision. Yes, we know who's playing. Uh, awesome, awesome. So, Holler at me in the comments. I know I asked a lot of questions. I know I made a lot of pronunciation errors, which I'm sure you'll correct me for. Um, and as always, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel so we can keep hanging out and that we can watch Haikyuu together because quite frankly, it is one of my favorite hobbies now. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.